right now. Yes. I think I said that right. And now they're headed up the stairs to the 265 foot level. That's a level that will take them to where the, the crew access arm is in the white room. Yeah, that's the view right there that they're looking at. And Lauren, what are those chevrons, those white chevrons on the on the floor, what do they lead to? Those are basically highlighting the exit path. So in the event that they needed to, that anyone up there needed to get away ASAP, they follow those arrows to where escape baskets await them. There's seven baskets and they'll hop in there and it's kind of like a zip line. They'll slide all the way down from that uh, fixed service structure down to the ground safe and away from the rocket. Great. And at the top right of your screen where you see them, there's actually a phone, right? There next to the worm, there's the worm again, Leland. Uh, but there's I'm okay a phone. with that. I'm okay with that now. <laughs> okay. it, it really pops up there. Yeah, it's like it belongs there or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Um, Leland, tell us about the phone. What's the significance of the phone up there? Yeah, I mean, you can call family members that you maybe weren't able to come to the launch, and in this case, there are quite a few of them. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a last minute to say goodbye and say that you're going to talk to them when you get to space. Absolutely. And again, they're just kind of taken in the sights before they go into the white room and the pad team is there. You can see them. They're in, they're in black with the white numbers on their back. They're all members of the pad team. They're going to be helping them um, when they get into um, ingress. Um, actually, at about, we're at T, uh, T minus two hours and 50 minutes right now at about T minus two hours and 35 minutes. So just under 15 minutes from now is when the astronauts will ingress. That's the term we use for climbing into Dragon. And of course, they will have the assistance of the suit techs and get buckled in. And so we want to head over to Hawthorne now for a preview of what's in store for not just Bob and Doug, but future space travelers. Shortly after we begin to regularly fly NASA astronauts to and from the space station, SpaceX will also begin flying private passenger passengers to station and beyond using Dragon. That's right. NASA is going to be enabling up to two private astronaut missions to visit the space station each year, just as part of our support of a broader economy in low Earth orbit. It's just one of the many ways NASA's opening access for companies to manufacture products in microgravity, for new commercial modules in space, and to enable more people to be able to explore the stars firsthand. And the more people out there exploring the stars, the closer we get to becoming a multi-planetary species. Earlier we showed